All right, hey guys, we are going to set up for uh, hole number eight here, and I'm going to, you know, go down the uh, katana ball here because you know I'm definitely not qualifying. I do recommend katanas. Uh, the side spin aspect here is going to be bar to none. Other than that, um, here you see a thorn uh, right at about two per ring, 50 accuracy. Um, you know, if we get it out towards min club, uh, we're going to, uh, to do a min club, which is about four per ring with that thorn. So aside from that, we are going with our Thor's hammer. You can go with it with an extra mile apocalypse. Uh, just go with something that, uh, you know, I like Thor's because it has way better accuracy than that extra mile. It's about twice as accurate, which is going to make that great ball that much more likely to get into the fairway. But uh, what you're going to see me do is, especially on something where I have limited curl, Great I'm shot. going to utilize all that side spin that a katana has to help me get that ball back into the center of this fairway. As you can see, uh, it is very much a challenging shot to get that to fully get back into the center of the fairway. So here you're going to see me. Um, I'm going to play it very close to one per ring. But aside from that, um, I'm going to go maybe three and a half on the top spin. Um, even though my Thor's hammer is um, 1.7 per ring on downhill, downwind, full power shots like this, um, I, I, I tend to come off of that adjustment. And you can see that fourth ring is almost catching that rough. So I will come off. I'll only play about five rings um, downwind. So here you're going to see me use somewhere around half power. I want to keep it away shot. from that leading edge. And uh, like I mentioned, it will go in more of a one per ring fashion. As you can see, that was still very aggressive to the uh, north edge of the fairway, even with taking off that much power. You can see that I wasn't even starting to go dark orange, and it's still almost, even when I showed you where Max was, that there was only four rings um, into the fairway, and that, which would mean that that's about 1.5 per ring, which is going um, you know, more than I should technically have to would be in, in, into the rough. So it's just something to keep in mind that uh, you know you definitely have to underplay that wind. I play it to 1.0. Um, or I underpay, underplay my ring adjustment. It's an overplay of the wind because I end up adjusting more rings. And if, you know, the shot that I am going to go for is a three backspin shot. So what I recommend is this. As you can see, I drove it just too far. So you might only want to use three top spin and try to come a little bit shorter. But when I make this mistake, as a bailout, alternate technique, you're going to see me go like this and set up behind the hole and try to do a backspin shot. This is going to be my bailout technique. I don't want to do this for my natural shot. It's a little bit harder to execute, but I will still do the same ring adjustments. About since we're at min, min club, I am going to use uh, 1.4 on my ring adjustment. And here you can see that, I, oh no, I forgot I can't make this. There you see I made it. So I wonder if I can get out of that. i try to forfeit it out. <laughs> see if that works. I have no idea if that'll work. But we're going to find out firsthand because I do not want to qualify. So I'll try to do what I can. Um, but you can see that, you know, that backdoor type approach, that's what it's going to take to, uh, you know, hold that one out and, uh, to give you just that better effort when you do drive it too long. So what I would recommend is coming off that, uh, you know, you don't have to land quite as aggressive as I did on that first. You can come off of the power a little bit and also come off that top spin. Only put three top spin there. Because you don't want to put yourself in between clubs like that where I have to go. It basically forced me to do a backspin shot. And I find that shot to be a little bit more unreliable. You can end up hitting the pin. And, uh, you know, I just prefer the more straight forward approach. And if you want to see the more straightforward approach, I did do it in expert. should be a very similar wind ring adjustment. And feel free to check out that video as it's going to play very similar to the pro. Let's jump in here. I do want to keep this on video for you guys just to see if this technique actually worked. Even though I made the eagle, we're going to see if 
since I wasn't there to report the results if I was able to get out of the game and still get a bogey. <clears throat> And there we have it. It still did work, and which would also, you know, still give my opponent the birdie, which is good. And you can see there it is firsthand that uh, if you're going second and you force close the app and stay out of the game for roughly a minute, by the time you come back in, it will still give you the bogey as long as you do not get those reported results and see that winner notification come up. So good luck there, guys, and uh, catch you guys for hole nine to finish up.